What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steve and it's finally time for week six. That's right, we're over halfway through with the Pokemon Premier League. But it's time for week six uh, analysis of the Eternity Enders versus the Hurtier Bremen. Now, of course, the Hurtier Bremen are coached um, by Evelyn, uh, also known as at H2O Drink It on Twitter. So her information will be in the description if you'd like to go check out her previous matches in the Pokemon Premier League. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this matchup. After last week, really had a bad taste in my mouth overall for the Pokemon Premier League. I really have got to bounce back from that. So in this matchup, we can see that she is a very interesting draft. I'd say she has probably the most interesting draft out of anyone here. We have Darmanitan, Roserade, Zapdos, Feraligator, Dredagon, Halucha, Donphan, Lyperd, Masharna, and Oddish. Now, with all those Pokemon, we do see overall, it's actually pretty balanced as far as defense and offense goes. Um, with her final pick being Oddish, that's definitely, as she put on the sheet, her secret weapon. But um, you see most of the KOs that she's picked up have been through Darmanitan, which what, he has nine KOs for her, with uh, Feraligator following behind with four. Uh, the way I've seen her use Zapdos mostly has been kind of a bulky pivot, so I'm expecting her to bring something like a, a bulky pivoty team against me. Um, I do expect to see her bring Donphan just because my team doesn't particularly like hazards and Donphan can definitely bring that versus me. Uh, Lipard slows down a lot of my Pokemon which could be very annoying, plus Lipard gets those annoying uh, copy catching in against two. Um, she also might bring Roserade with some hazards as well. She has the ability to get rid of hazards with her Donphan and Zapdos. Um, one of those two combinations she can taunt with Lipard. So once again, just like last week, we have the situation where our opponent can hazard stack against us, which is not something that I really want to deal with. Now, fortunately, where I think my team does have an advantage here is just in speed uh, between my Lopunny or Mega Lop Honey, excuse me, and Stoutland in Sand, I can kind of blow through her entire team, and her only means of priority is Aqua Jet from Feraligator, Sucker Punch on Halucha, uh, Domfan's Ice Shard, or just Lightbird with Fake Out or using Copy Catching in against. Now, with those being her options, I feel like I can handle those to a certain extent. Um, Evelyn's team is kind of like mine. She had a couple of really close battles that ended poorly, mainly because of hacks. So I would love to have a hacks free, just an honest battle with her. Um, our time zones are a little bit wonky, so it's going to be fun scheduling the battle. But that being said, um, Tyranitar Stalin here is such a fantastic combination. Tyranitar with Stone Edge and Ice Beam hits every single thing on her team for at least neutral damage, which means I have the other slot free to run something like Stealth Rocks or Dragon Tail, just to kind of break up her momentum. Darmanitan, Zapdos, those two Pokemon seem to be her go-to, just U-turn out or, or Volt Switch out. So if I can break up that momentum, I think that, that would be a good way to uh, to really approach the battle. Now with Lopunny, strangely, the standard Lopunny set works really, really well against her team. Um, return, Fake Out, High Jump Kick, all those shenanigans. Uh, fake Out allows me to get the jump on Lipard nicely. It'll be interesting to kind of play around with Mega Evolving. If she tries to paralyze my Lopunny and I don't Mega Evolve, then I can use Thumper's Limber ability to avoid getting paralyzed for a turn, which would be pretty nice. Um, I will need a lot of prior damage on Donphan and even Zapdos to one hit to finish them off in even two hits. So that is something I will have to do some calcs for. And here, I think I do want max speed. Darmanitan has the ability to outpace several of my Pokemon with a Scarf. So uh, I, I know that she likes to put Life Orb or Choice Band on it too, but with the Scarf, it becomes much more threatening here. And of course, Feraligator with Swords Dance and Aqua Jet, also not something that I want to deal with. So I have to keep Lopunny pretty healthy to deal with those threats. Now Statlin does give me some uh, room to play around with as far as if something gets set up, because Statlin can definitely take a hit from Feraligator's Aqua Jet, even at plus two with the Life Orb. Uh, same thing with on Sucker Punch can definitely take a hit there, and I can even outspeed Halucha before the Unburden ability activates. So that's nice too. Uh, Halucha really struggles to damage Kafagrigus, so I will be definitely bringing Kafagrigus to this match. Kafagrigus is such a good 
check to for alligator um, if she uses water, waterfall or any of the other moves that for alligator normally has besides maybe earthquake or rock slide then she loses sheer force she's taking that life or recoil and she's doing less damage which will allow me to pain split up or maybe even set some toxic spikes uh, with her only way of removing toxic spikes being oddish or forcing um, her to use defog or rapid spin i really like toxicing this team of course rose raid might come in to soak them up but uh to me that's just an opportunity to burn and get some residual damage on rose raid now i also like reuniclus for this matchup reuniclus sets up on several members of her team and if darmanitan and for alligator are out of the picture she really struggles to handle reuniclus um, i actually may bring key berry reuniclus one more time just because the chance of switching in on a physical move is there uh, I do need some residual damage on something like Zapdos to take it out in a single hit, but I definitely think I'd be going with the bulky Reuniclus. Florges is tempting to bring the Calm Mindset again on, but with that, I don't um, I don't see that working well with Tyranitar because I relies on Synthesis. So probably just the Wish supporting set with Aromatherapy just in case she wants to set up her own Toxic Spikes. Uh, of course, I do have to worry about the Paralysis or Toxic from Zapdos. Um, and the paralysis from Lipard, Masharna can learn moves that put you to sleep. Just there are a few things to be aware of there, so I definitely don't want to have to deal with that if I don't if I don't need to. Uh, some other options, Noivern is not bad here. Again, the speed is really nice, and she doesn't have a fairy type to absorb Draco Meteor. But that, uh, I guess I could run something like a Choice Guard from Noivern to outspeed Choice Guard Garmanitan. But that seems like a little bit of overkill to me. Outside of Rock Slide, Darmanitan struggles to two-hit KO Noivern anyway with a little bit of investment. So that might be an option as well. I don't like Noivern just because it's so likely that she'll bring Donphan and it'll probably have Ice Shard. Noivern really doesn't want to take an Ice Shard, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, since I am running Sand, of course Kabutas will get the special defense boost from the Sand. But with the, the chance that she'll bring Roserade or a weird Oddish set with the grass typing right there, I don't want Kabutops to take that damage. And actually, Sticky Web in this matchup isn't bad because it would slow down Lipard for Alligator, Roserade, and Darmanitan. So that's not a bad idea with Levani. But on the other side, I don't really hit anything on her team with the Grass or Bug coverage. Um, I hit for Alligator, and that's it. I, I hit Masharna, but it's not going to really do much, even if it's backed up by a Life Orb. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. It is nice that she doesn't have a Mega. I don't have to deal with that brute force and power. But at the same time, that gives her a lot more flexibility with different options that she might bring as far as held items or just different sets. Um, Darmanitan can go Scarf, Bandit, or Life Orb. Rosary can be defensive or offensive or especially defensive. Zapdos can do the same thing. Feraligate can run Swords Dance or it can run uh, Dragon Dance. Dragon can be bulky, offensive or defensive. Halucha is relegated to a one role for the most part. She might try to do something interesting with it, but she's really only brought it um, twice, I think. But we're gonna run into some interesting things and I hope you guys appreciate the matchup. I'm looking forward to the battle. So we will see you guys next time. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.